Take it easy with your arrogance. You never reach Odogu, na Davidobi Odogu, and this is coming from Idris Aldo Karim um, to Bonaboy. In an interview with Object TV, he said, and I quote, "You never reach giant of Kogi. Take it easy. Davido has been able to add value to lives in this generation. If I have to call anybody Odogu for this new generation, na Davido, God bless you, Bonaboy. You are very talented, but you know be giant of Africa. You know be Odogu. Take it easy with your arrogance." End of quotes. That's just quoting that part but it was a five minutes long um five video. minutes about 20 minutes and oh you went to yeah. youtube but no, i stopped on no, instagram 20 sorry. minutes and um he spoke about david o for at least 13 minutes of the 20 minutes mm. but um <laughs> it's weird when it's coming from idris i mean idris is an activist of some sort mm. let me put it that way but sometimes his approach can be yeah. you know, somehow. Or, uh, but I'm not going to take away from the things he said. Um, it's possible that Bonaboy has also affected the lives of some people that we do and not know. And he doesn't know. put it out there. He doesn't put it out there. But based on what we know and what we see, we cannot mm. fault anything Idris had said. Because mm. um, Davido um, has single-handedly carried a lot of people on his back yeah. and created stars on his platform. Yeah. And you can see that he's genuinely happy for these people and not trying to compete mm. with, with them. them. I think that's a very healthy environment. And I think that's the kind of environment I would love to find myself in. Mm. So um, even when we are giving him kudos for his kudos for his hard work and his passion for music, no one can take away the fact that we need to also give him kudos for rising yeah. by lifting others, basically living by his mantra. Yeah. I agree with everything you've said. And to top that up, I think it's also very interesting how pride makes you look ugly. Because now, mm. it looks like Burna Boy is very talentless. And Burna Boy, we can't rape Burna Boy and we can't do all these things. If Burna Boy didn't come out to make this statement, everybody would be disagreeing with this statement that, oh my gosh, Burna Boy is talented, yeah. Burna Boy did this, Burna Boy did that. We'll all be like, we're well, beginning music. to see people that are now deliberately going out to say, I did not like Dangote, yeah. I did not like uh, Udugu. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, this mm -hmm. was never happening before. Exactly, and that's why it's so important not to be prideful. It makes like it just movie. turns you ugly. And I always I always used to like have that experience. Remember the first experience I had with pride was a pretty girl that I met in uni. This girl was just like super gorgeous until she started talking. And I swear to God, like her <laughs> face just became ugly instantly. Mm. And I'm saying you like it's so true that that's a pride can make you look ugly. And it, that's all I took from the story that wow, but now boy, see how you've just finished rubbished yourself because you can't just calm down, tone your tone your tongue, tame it. Say things properly, you know. There's other ways to like send your message across, or just even keep your freaking message if nobody wants to hear it, if it's not positive, um, and hide the insecurities because everybody has that. I'm sure there's people in the comp in the industry that don't that find the video threatening or find him unworthy or undeserving. But you don't have to always say everything that crosses your mind. Um, and I really hope you can pick one or two things from this. I'm 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 hoping because I really think. Burna Boy deserves to still be rated, if that makes sense. I'm hoping that he can learn something from this and know how to like change communicate better. Yeah, just even if you don't change, just keep quiet. Or just and, communicate and, better. Keep your opinions mm, to, in think, your circle. circle. I think he took yeah. back his phone because um, they were in charge of the social media. And then I don't know. He took back his phone. <laughs> anyway, it became so bad now that they are now dragging his girlfriend yes, into, into it, it, and that is just not cool. Yes. And they said she's um, prideful as well, like. So I think they fit perfect. We've not really gotten that vibe from yeah. her because yeah. she, she doesn't talk much. Yeah. She's just doing her stuff on social media. Like, see how she moves. I don't and think so because Densia, she has like a, a Densia, group of friends that I don't know if you saw Densia's post. Did yeah, you see Densia's post? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Where she said, um, try to bully her as well uh, with a friend and talking about Nigerian girl. The video that Nigerian best friend, um, Star what's her name again? I said Stallion. What's her name? Um, Steph London. Mm -hmm. The Niger you know she has a Nigerian best friend. Yeah. Her bestie is Nigerian, and then they were calling Nigerian girls ugly and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The video. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So you know that came back into the light, and I think um, that's Bonaboy's fault. But if if he wants, to, I'm sorry, didn't share anything. Then she just enters here and goes out of here because. Yeah, she's, she's not wanted. Coming from and everybody does that, okay? For someone who's that lived in other cities, it's place. very easy to make things about nationalities. But when they're saying that an ugly girl, trust me, they have girls in mind that they're talking about. We just like to generalize it. When you live in a city that's like mixed and stuff, it's no longer about Elsie, it's about Nobody's the Nigerian ugly, and it's about the Kenyan or whatever. I don't think, what I'm saying is I don't think that that statement or that conversation that they're trying to bring up is enough reason for me to mark her as like a terrible person. No, that that's why sense. I said it's Bonaboy's fault, but... 
the old that's how idris talks to sounds like he comes in here and leaves here because uh, <laughs> idris was like <laughs> A minute ago, talking about David Doe in a very nasty way, and now he's so apologetic and is apologetic. When was a minute ago? We, we, what are you talking the, about? The um, Daily Momo. Yeah, he so. mentioned it as well. He yeah. said David Doe did something wrong, and yeah. he came down at him. And no, nobody is was, going that, to say that, 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 that was not wrong. It was that, allowed, that, and that he acknowledged that was it. That's how he said it. He said, uh, you know, see, now it was like he was now trying to turn against Daily Momo as well. He no. said, you know, okay, the, well, the, the, what ahead. he said mm -hmm. was, um, you know, see, get the way with some. Bro, save the behave sometimes you go got show them. So, what do you mean that it was okay for Davido to be rude to Daily Momodu because of the way Daily Momodu behaved? Well, like, sometimes yes. your attitude can yes, actually exactly. bring disrespect. Yes, so, yeah, that's the point. Is not just you have to respect that. You have yourself to as well. It. So, a lot of people, well, I'm going to go to the reactions <laughs> on social media now. A lot of people are saying that he's trying to find favor with David Doe. Oh, you know, I hate that. I that, hate that, that, that so much. That he's trying to find David Doe. And David Doe is not even acknowledging this interview because he's, he's making a joke out of him. I don't know if you guys saw David Doe's story yesterday. What did you um, post? David Doe, first of all, he said, uh, May your kukum carry your hair. Then later it was like, I ah, stole um, Mayor Kunze, um P word. He used the mm -hmm. P word mm -hmm. and all of that. So How does that have anything to do with Idris? It was Idris. He was putting him in the picture. He said um, he's using, he stole Mayor Kun's hair. Like he's doing Mayor Kun's like hair style. style. Yeah, so oh, it was, okay. and it was, um, what's it called? Screen grabbing the interview and putting it there. So he was insulting the man, and the man was out there healing you all the way. And in a way, I caught the vibe. Is that vibe. Really an insult? I caught the vibe. Is I said he used the P word. Like P-U-S-S-Y? Mm-mm. P-U-T-T-N. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so come see the P nig um, P N guy use. Uh, like, okay, this, this, this is so stressful for TV right now. I don't know, but I'm just saying that I'm just listening to mm. what he said. I've not um, been online or following Davido that much to know what his reactions was. Yeah, so but then he doesn't even need to acknowledge everything. You no, know, we said it the other day that when we were talking, I don't know, was it you? And I was no, saying I mean, like, that Davido is not a perfect guy as at well. All, he has please. his bad sides, but I think his good sides overweight. Let's, let's, yeah. Now, let's you focus know. on Bonner Boy. Um, and he kept on saying that the only reason why he feels Bonner Boy is proud is because he walked out on that interview that the BBC guys came mm. and all of that. So, um, Bonner Boy, the fact that we don't know the people that he's helped is not enough to say that we do not know. But like yeah. you said, we cannot fault David Doe because we see it. And David Doe, and I like what David Doe, David Doe too is also saying that even helping people is clout. If you people see it as clout, then mm. I love clout. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So the guy has admitted that, look, regardless of what you guys say, if there's anything I need to jump on, if there's anybody I need to help, if you like, see it as clout, see it as clout. But um, at the end of the day, Bonner Boy should take a cue from this mm. because out of um, the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. So I think this is what a lot of people Scavosh. think. Yeah. For Idris' um, message, I think we sh people should just try to separate the message from the messenger and mm. listen to what he was saying because mm. he gave a lot of instances from when he had to house... And I hated that too. No, no, no. I, I don't think he was... You calling really people out you didn't. didn't okay for I me i don't think he was calling minutes. people out i think he was giving you like a projection or uh, how do they put it now so to tell you this has happened to this person and this person how also he used that Timaya, to help. he gave to maya the first and he piece. also uh, admitted that somebody on. helped him as mm -hmm. well so he's saying that we actually need to be able to help each other to help each other grow so mm -hmm. it's not a case of him trying to let you know that he helped two face mm -hmm. or he helped he mentioned even eddie remedy and all that and all they had to do to help the people that were coming after them and they also did the same thing to the people that were coming after them mm -hmm. so he's actually just encouraging the culture that they video is breeding mm. so i don't think um if you don't like it Idris that much i think you should just take the message yeah. from yeah, exactly. it and that's what that's why i said bonner boy should just take a cue from this but yeah. don't really take it seriously because i feel if you ask me apart from the comment section i feel like in a way there was a little bit of botox kissing in this interview why why is he it why is it God that men, said, i don't have that conversation about men but why is it that when a man gives you a compliment it's, 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 it's like you people don't get it often that you find another no, woman no. that's true. He, yeah. he also said he's going to get his graphic guy to print the t-shirt and put David Doe's number one fan. Come on.